guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers for Sagittarius. And for those of you who are arriving here for the very first time, happy to have you. I'm going to activate the reading by pulling from Priestess of Light Oracle. Let's see what message comes through for those of you watching. Card five, clarity, planning and releasing illusion. Oof, I love it. Clarity, planning, and that feels Queen of Swords-ish, right? Um, seeing things as they are, seeing through certain situations for what is really happening instead of the illusion or fantasy. It feels like um, this is an opportunity for you to be clear about what's happening in your connection. What I'm going to do is um, pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We will get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Remember, it is general, though not private, so it may not resonate for everybody. Always best to take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Ten of Cups. So we are opening up with this energy of the bliss, the nirvana of it all, some happiness, fulfillment on an emotional level. Um, and what is the challenge here is the timing. Wow. And this is the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules the sign of Sagittarius as well. But it's talking about divine time, things, you know, being fated, F-A-T-E-D, destined to come together. But the question is when? So you may feel like the timing is off. You may have questions, fears, apprehensions around that. Sure, in your unconscious awareness. In the past, King of Wands, this is somebody that, you know, really captured your attention. Um, is somebody who comes across like a very ardent, passionate lover. Somebody who knows what they want and doesn't hesitate. But you need some clarity, the Ace of Swords for sure. Um, yeah, like there's this moment where you're seeing things quite clearly as opposed to what you couldn't see before, um, right? Because the moon is what we can't see. It's what's hidden. And in the near future, the Hierophant, and she speaks to like conventional committed relationships, the vows we make and take in life, our obligations, responsibilities, being a person of our word. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump in and get some uh, clarity here. Five of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. So this is someone who obviously has a lot of feelings for you, you for them, um, but there's some kind of conflict, uh, some kind of outside source of interference, and it could be that this person has obligations elsewhere. The King of Pentacles comes through as like um, a masculine archetype of a life partner, someone who shows up for you in 3D, that has your back, that you can count on and depend upon. And with the King of Cups from the bottom of the deck, it's, you know, the deep feelings that are there, but that can't really be shown or spoken to. Um, there's probably been some, some lovely chemistry and physical declarations and expressions of feelings, but it seems to me that there's some kind of conflict here getting in the way of the timing of, um, you know, what it is you envision with this person. That Ten of Cups energy that feels so complete, like, yeah, we made it. Here we are. We got there. And um, there's something in the way of that. So let's see the moon. Sometimes the Five of Wands is like competition, right? Other things that take this person away from you or you from them. And it, it just seems to me that with three kings here, we have the love and the passion, King of Cups, King of Wands. But the King of Pentacles is probably where the conflict is. Are they free and available to be with you? That's what I'm looking at. Right, because in your unconscious awareness, now we have all the kings. Um, yeah, just on some level, something you can't see your way clear. And the fact that you don't have the clarity and maybe it's right, which is why you're getting that 
that oracle, it, it, it causes you to sort of shut down, pull back, uh, be a little guarded, uh, feeling stuck, not sure of your next best step. King of Swords underneath, you're aware that this person is sort of holding something on reserve. The King of Swords, um, I, I always say that in their upright, right, and I'm not seeing anything terrible here, so that's what I'm describing to you. In their upright, they are people of honor. Um, integrity. They want to do the right thing. They care about what people think. Um, so they happen to be very strategic. They're wise that way. They communicate only that which needs to be communicated. So sometimes it's not real warm and fuzzy. It's not all this yummy energy. It, it kind of comes through a little bit more cool. Um, and like you can't sort of get out of them what it is you need to feel that sense of security in the situation. So right now I feel like you're stuck and maybe a little shut down or um, self-protective because there's a conflict around this energy you feel toward this person and their response to you. So let's see the King of Wands. In the past, yes, Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, Queen. There's the Queen of Swords. That's what I was feeling here. Now we have the King and Queen. I still feel I'm looking at a situation where um, this the, the, the relationship between the two of you is dependent upon this person sort of closing out something else. And it's painful. It's difficult. That Ten of Swords is not yours, it's theirs technically. And so the King of Wands has to take that action to bring something to an end so that they can have this new adventure and have this um, gift of inspired passion. And all the while you've been there going like, when is this gonna happen, right? Because our challenge here is with timing. And it feels to me like I'm talking to those of you who are dealing with someone who's either married perhaps getting divorced um ending something that is not easy for them to to um it's not easy it's hard it's painful it's difficult and so you're sort of trying to stay very level-headed about the situation but it's causing you a lot of internal worry because um, you really don't know what's going on. So let's see the Ace of Swords in your conscious awareness. Right. So you're seeing the truth of the, of the connection is that it's going to take some time before you can come together. That Four of Wands feels like the beginning of life partnership, the happily ever after that you seek but it's really going to take some time. Divine time, yes, but also like things unfolding more organically because we're souls having a human experience. The human part, you know, the person you're dealing with has to do certain things, has to take care of other obligations where they are committed elsewhere. And that could be to a person, that could be to their children, that could be to, job, to a job. Um, so, you know, Fill in the blank. It's a general reading. Take it as it resonates for you. But I feel like you're seeing it very clearly. Like this is going to take some time. And the seven of wands underneath suggests that you may have some resistance to that, meaning some impatience is creeping in. Even though you see it clearly, you have the clarity now, it doesn't mean that it feels good. You still have a little anxiety over the situation um, because there's so much that's unknown and it leaves you feeling stuck. So let's see our Hierophant in the near future. Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Judgment. So the situation going forward looks good, uh, provided that you are both choosing the same path. We have um, definitely with an Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning. It can be an up-leveling. It can even be commitment-oriented. So it could be choosing that path to something more committed with the Judgment card underneath. 
that's reunion, reconciling anything. If you, if that tension happens to be between the two of you, it didn't appear to me that way at first, but it could be, you could be frustrated. There could be tension because if, you know, someone says, well, I've, I'm, I'm, I've got to do X, Y, and Z before I can, you know, be with you and they're not doing anything, it can be frustrating, right? Because that's a timing reference. So I am feeling here that um, what I'm seeing in the future is the reunion and or reconciliation, choosing that path to something more committed or the new beginning for the two of you. Um, it's just gonna take some time. Yeah, easy for me to say, right? It's just gonna take some time, sure, no sweat. But, you know, I can feel the frustration um, there, you know, that sense of pushback over that and losing patience maybe makes sense. I just feel that the clarity that you are getting here about that need to be patient is the most important part. How you navigate that is totally up to you. So what I'm going to do is I want to, I'm really feeling this King of Pentacles. I think everything hinges on this. So I'm going to look at this in the extended and um, my spread's a little different for this extended. I'm looking at higher, lower vibration approaches to the situation for them. Uh, how they see you, think about you or feel about you, their intentions toward you. I want the hidden energies, what they don't want you to know or see and what they do want you to know. So we'll take a look at both of those things that could be helpful. Um, if this was helpful, if it was aligned, if it resonated, if you enjoy the readings, please make sure you are subscribed below. And um, don't forget, once you do that, click that little notification bell if you haven't already. So that just kind of pops up in your feed and make, hello, makes you aware of new readings as they are uploaded. So that's my ask and I much appreciate it. Here we go. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. King of Pentacles is Taurus. King of Cups associated with Scorpio. The Moon is Pisces. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. King of Wands is um, Leo. Queen of Swords is Libra, nice and balanced, rational. Hierophant is Taurus, and we have Pluto here in the Judgment card, which rules Scorpio. So that's what I have for you, Sag. Um, and we're going to head to the Extended now to see what's up with this King of Pentacles. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.